Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monkey here in today's game playing some Riot K9 Nasus in the top lane, or Susan in the top lane as I like to call him, but I probably won't remember to call him that again throughout this game because I kind of forget these kind of things, but uh, we'll pick up the Christine Flask here in a potion. Does Nasus double jungle or does he go straight to lane? Nah, we, we do a jungle. Top or bot side, though? It's up to Rengar, of course, which side we start from, so I'll chill until we know because I don't want to walk somewhere and waste my time going the wrong place. Uh, bot, you want Gromp? Yeah, it's all up to, it's actually up to the bot lane as well if they want the Gromp or not. Sure. Alright, so we're doing bot side. So, essentially what we're going to do here, guys, we don't have any extra items on top of our flask, because... Uh, actually, who are we against? We're against a Malphite, so I guess the Cloth Armor wouldn't be of much use, but this still allows us to go back and get some extra items. If I was to have filled up my inventory with extra potions, that would have been fine, yeah, but if I was against the Riven top lane, which is what we saw in the Champion Select, because I wasn't really sure if it was Riven top or Malphite top, having the Cloth Armor would be very, very good against Riven, so this is fun. But, uh, yeah, I probably should mention the teams that I've tabbed a few times and haven't said anything yet. So we've got Dark7 playing the Alistair support. Also got Dad Spaghetti on that Sivir 80 carry. Nathan Kazuki playing as our Rengar jungle. And last but not least is little Dracum back again there on the LeBlanc mid. And like I said, we're against the Malphite top. Looks like the Twisted Fate mid lane, Vayne 80 carry, uh, Riven jungle. And then last but not least is Zillion support. And I think I'll get my E here because I think it's a lot better for... Uh, jungling early on and versus your Q because yeah you can suck their Q but having to micromanage that and all that's a bit of a hassle and the damage and the cooldown ratio is not as good as this one because the spirit fire does do quite a bit of damage and it also does also reduce their armor by uh, 20 so your auto attacks do more so I think it's a pretty good way to go so see here Rengar is going to smite the Gromp getting himself the buff and also helping the bot lane take the Gromp for themselves and then me and him will just do a jungle from here and I'll pop oops all my flasks because of course I'll reset them when I get back to base and just help Rengar do this and I pop my E here, but hopefully Rengar doesn't miss it. So I'll hit the little ones. Oh, yeah, you got it. Good. And there we go. There's all those. So I get the little ones. He gets the buff, of course. And let's get my E onto the wolves. And I'll tag this some more and make it so he doesn't take any damage. And I'll go back anyway, so I'll replenish my HP. And it looks like their top laner, Malphite, is not doing that. So I'll go ahead and the little ones now. So yeah, we're going to have a bit of a lead on him in the lane, which would be really nice. Get all those. There we go. Nice. So we're both level 2. Going back here. Let's pick up ourselves. Oh, it looks like Balin's already picking up a kill. Talk about an early lead there. Nice job to them. But I'm not really sure where to get the items wise. I could get boots, but then I don't have as much sustain. So I'm thinking I'll get pink works. I'm on pink side. And get myself a bunch of potions and some mana potions. And just farm it out and get like a ton of stacks. Because if you know how Nasus is, he's a bit a little bit dull in the lane phase because all you do is stack. But that's going to work out pretty well for us. Because how much sustain we've got with these items. I don't think I get this minion. Yeah, I cannot, but I can probably get this one here. Nope. Pretty soon here I'll get the pink ward down, but I don't want to miss minions for it, so it's kind of tricky. I'll go around and get this one here. Yeah, yeah I'm going to miss that one, unfortunately. I don't really want to use my E to get minions, because of course I'll shove the wave, and I want to keep the freeze set up as best as I can. And I think I have some time to get this pink ward down, so I'll rearrange this just to kind of maybe possibly juke him out of thinking that I didn't have a pink ward. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. We'll find out. Get this minion here. And actually, I'm going to put another point to my Q here. Actually, I'm not going to be able to get the Siege otherwise. I was waiting for the Q, Q, Q cooldown, but I think I would have missed it otherwise. So that kind of sucks. The 11 farm to his 9, so he's actually down on us by quite a bit. So this is not too bad. And we can just maintain the freeze here and just farm all day long. Get all those stacks. I'm going to be aiming for 150 at 10 minutes. Normally, that's what I can achieve. And whoops, he's a little bit too soon. Normally, I can achieve that, if not better, if I'm having a pretty good lane. Uh, sometimes I can't, though, of course, if it's a rough lane. It looks like Riven is actually, in fact, top lane, which kind of sucks, but I'm not worried. And I was going to use my E there to try to get that minion. Unfortunately was not enough, but that's okay. Get ourselves the wither here, though. And it looks like Riven did take out my pink ward, which kind of blows, but that's no big deal, because I don't think she's going to gank me by any means. We do have a flash, so we do have that escape if need be. And Malphite's kind of low on mana to begin with, and to add on to that, he doesn't really have much hard CC to really set up a gank until he's level 6, so until then, we're pretty well off here. You'll notice you're maxing the Q first, reason being, of course, you want to use that for the stacking, and the cooldown does go down. Yeah, the damage goes up too, but I don't really care about that, because I'm not supposed to be fighting his Nasus early on anyway, so damaging minions differently doesn't really matter. It's really about getting the stacks up, and lower cooldown is really what makes that happen, that's why you max it. If the cooldown was the same at all ranks, though, you'd max E second. Or first, I should say. Because the E's damage is actually quite strong. A lot of people underestimate how much damage it does. Because it also reduces your, their armor. So the combination of the damage it does on its own and the damage it allows you to do because of the reduced armor is pretty worthwhile. And Malphite's just going to kind of walk up to me like the weirdo. So I'll just let him help me a little bit. I'm actually going to hold to my Q here because I want to use it for the Siege. And I don't think the cooldown's short enough for me to get both. So there we go. Getting the Siege minion. Getting double stats, I think. Or is it just six? I'm not sure. Uh... Okay, I don't really know. I, I kind of breeze through it a little bit. Maybe you can tell me whether it's like double the stacks. I know each one is like three, I think. So maybe it's six when you heal a big one. I'm not totally sure. But 
No big deal. It's gonna keep farming here, chilling. Uh, one thing I should also mention, I haven't mentioned yet, is of course, if you guys want to support the video and help out the channel and all that, make sure to drop a rating on the video, like, dislike. Helps me equally as much, but of course, you are. Sh I'm pretty sure most of you know which one I prefer to have more of on my videos. And it's looking like a bit of plays going on ball lane there. Not so good though for our team. It's looking like. Looks like they got more kills out of it than we did. Oops. I'm trying to get that minion, but Malphite stay on top of it, making it hard for me to hit. That kind of sucks. But it looks like we're going to trade it back. So we're getting that kill. So nice job to them. And uh, did I reorganize their organization? Yes. Okay. Wasn't really sure if I remembered to realign their team members for their roles and all that, but I did. So all good. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit low here, but not really. Because, I mean, I'm not full HP is really all I'm saying. But Malphite keeps autoing me while I'm next to minions. Oopsies. Which is kind of funny because whenever he does that, he's proccing the minions to hit him. And he's wasting his mana. And I just sustain so much more than he does with the amount of items I have, which I haven't actually used really any of. He's one flask and that's it. And I've also got the luxury that is, of course, super good sustain with my passive. And wow, the weather's so weak now. They must have nerfed that a lot because that is barely a move speed decrease. It's okay. Can we get this? No, we cannot. Shit. I was hoping to get it with my Q, but unfortunately it was not available in time. And I was really banking on being available in time, so I didn't unfortunately get it at all. So that sucks. But, uh, we should be able to get this minion here, right? Yeah. Nope. I hate when that happens when you try to hit it the last second, then it changes targets because it was on. Not going to kill it anyways. That's okay, though. I think I'm going to miss that one in the back there, actually. So I'll get this one here in front. Sin at 69, almost 70. At s almost 7 minutes, actually. So not bad, actually. Not bad at all. As long as we hit that uh, 150 by uh, 10 minutes, we should be okay. Because as you get more points in it, the cooling gets lower, so it's easier to spam farm and all that. And Malphite's all out of mana and sustain from his flask, so... You can't just bop him on the head. You can see we're all doing a lot of damage to him. He doesn't have much armor yet, though. That's probably why. But once he has more armor, maybe he'll be more for a threat. But for the time being, this is very much in our favor, and I'm okay with that. Looks like a bit of a fight going on bot lane there. I'm actually going to TP in, because I think I can help. Never mind, I can't. Alright, at least I managed to save my teammates, because they probably would have died to Riven if I didn't show up like that. And the lanes still push up top lane. They don't really need TP to get back to the lane, so I'll just base here. And go back top lane. That's fine. Yeah, I think, honestly, Riven probably would have killed them both if she managed to pull off a play there. And I couldn't TP any further back, so that's it's a little bit lame, but it's okay. I think my first item, though, I will pick up an uh, extra cooldown reduction. I think Kennel Gem would be good, because I want extra HP. Whoopsies. And I want that cooldown reduction so I can spam my Q more and get more stacks. I think this is a really good way to go. And Malphite, yeah, he's just going to push in the wave. Unfortunately, making me miss minions, but that's okay. We're up at 52. He's at 47. We are up, even though I TP'd bot lane. That was probably a really lame TP, actually. I was really thinking they would keep going because my Sivir and Alistair are pretty vulnerable. And I think the Zillion and Vayne could have done a lot more. And, you know, with, Vayn with Ribbon's follow-up, I think they could have possibly made something happen, but they didn't, unfortunately for them. Luckily for us, but at the same time, kind of unluckily for me because I can't get anything done. And, yeah, that's not going to be mine. If I can get this one, though. So, yeah. 81 and 8 minutes in a bit, so not bad. But with our cooldown on our Q being at 4 seconds now, with one more point to go in it, we should be all set. Whoopsies, couldn't get that one. Yeah, these ones, though. Ugh, I missed so many there, that's so awkward. Alright, well, whatever. We'll just, let's just chill here. The extra 10% CDR is going to put us at 20%, 5% for Masteries and Runes each. So 10 total at the start. And then an extra 10 here. And I think once we have a Spirit Visage, that will cap us out. Well, no, it won't cap us out, but I'll... The item doesn't get any better from being Kindle Gem to Spirit Message, so that's fine. But I'll work towards a Frozen Heart at some point, and that's what's going to get me that extra more CDR that will allow me to cap out at 40%, which is, of course, the goal with Nasus. It's so important to cap your CDR out. If you don't, you're making a bit of a mistake, in my opinion. But it looks like a bit of a fight going on bot lane. It looks like they did get the better end of that, so that's good. And you still got lots of time to get 150 stacks. Lots of time. We can spam that Q away like crazy. Hopefully I don't miss the Siege here, though, and hello... I'm just going to pop my ult, if I can. I'm just going to flash, actually. I don't think I'm... I think I'm dead, though. Aren't I? Oh my god, am I going to live? No, nah, I'm dead. That's unfortunate. So, yeah. That, that, that pretty much sucks. There's nothing I can really do about that one, unfortunately. The only way I could have avoided that happening is if, of you know, coincidentally, I wasn't as far pushed up. Or, if I was to have, uh dodged the Malphite ulti or any of the CC from Riven, which I didn't do any of, unfortunately. So I'm going to go down on that one. Nothing I can really do about that with the way that was all set up. I could have potentially warded to avoid that happening, but I don't think it would have actually saved me because I'm not, I'm not that mobile that I can actually get out of that bad situation. But I will pick up some components here towards my Glacial Shroud. And I'm thinking if Rengar wants to come top when his next ulti is available, which is pretty soon, we could probably kill Malphite. His ult's down. But yeah, that still blows, though. 
And if I had teleport, I could have TP back to land and not miss as much, but that's okay. The Riven jungle making a difference, apparently. But uh, Rangar is actually on the way. His ult's almost available. He is fighting Riven, actually. And, I mean, he might be able to fight here, but I don't know if we can win. Let's just fight Malphite. He's surrounded here. We can pop some flasks here. The Bola did hit land, so this guy's getting a lot of damage from me. I wore the brush here. And actually, let's just go to Riven. She has double buffs. Kill the bitch. Oh my god, please. Get the Wither on her, please. Please. Come on. I got the Wither on her. Got him. Alright, TF's here, though. If we can, like, survive here, that'd be amazing. But I don't think it's gonna happen. But I have my ult available, actually. Let's get Malphite. There we go. Let's get the TF now. Hit him over the head. There we go. There's the damage coming out. LeBlanc with the TP saving the day, literally, on that one. That is awesome. Great job. Okay. So from there, we have three kills for just Rengar going down. Holy crap, this is ever awesome. Our stacks are not where I want them to be, of course, because I did, of course, die to the Riven Gang. So I'm not at the benchmark of 150 at 10 minutes, as you saw, but we got ourselves a kill and two assists out of that, and that is nothing to complain about. So we'll just try and catch up in stacks now. He is going to teleport back here. Let's pop all of our potions, actually. Or not all of them. We have fucking five potions. So many potions. And wait, is he going to all in me right now? Okay, I'll just wither him and walk away. I don't think he can kill me here, but he might be able to. Yeah, like, I'm just going to walk away. He kind of wasted his stuff there. Alright. No ult. And going forward here, because I have enough potions ticking, I can just wait for him to shove the wave in, because he's going to expect me to base. I'm not going to do that, though, because I've got plenty of sustain with my potions and my uh, passive, so I can just last hit and heal up. And yeah, his Q does a lot of damage, but he can't kill me, so that's fine. But the thing is, though, if his Riven shows up, I'm probably going to die. So I'll just chill. In fact, actually, my teleport's up in 10 seconds. I think I'll just base and be safe, and then just tip back to lane. Because about to my base and get items and all that, I'll probably have my teleport available. But actually, things went on ball lane. I could TP down there, but nah, I don't want to miss. I don't want to lose my turret. So I'll get the glacial shroud there. More CDR. Get the extra upgrade trinket if I can. I wish I can't. Lame. I guess I'll just get more armor then. And TP to lane. Hopefully, don't lose the turret. Please don't lose it. All right, I got there in time. That's all that matters. I'm actually gonna all in this guy because I think I can. I could do a lot of damage to this guy. He has no alt, and I don't think he has flash either. So I think we can potentially take him out. If that's he outruns us, like... I, I don't understand why Malphite's Q gives him a speed buff. He's a fucking, like, boulder. He's literally a moving boulder. Like, why does he get to run fast? I don't understand that. <laughs> this is not me, like, bitching about him getting away. Like, I kind of... I should have seen that coming. That's totally my fault. But still, thinking about the champion as a whole, though, like, why does he have a move speed buff? He's a he's a boulder. <laughs> I mean, I guess the skin, he's, he's, a, he's a, like, a pile of trash. But still, <laughs> I've never understood that. But whatever. It is what it is. Man, our stacks are so shit though, man. I'm, I'm, I apologize for such low stacking, but there's been so much action top lane making it kind of tough to stack as well as I'd like. But I've got a decent amount of CDR now, so it's getting better as we go forward. But still isn't where I want it to be. But going forward here, I think we have enough sustain to survive quite a while. Why is he all enemy again? Riven's not even here. Like, what, what's this guy's deal? Yeah, take that damage. Bastard. Get this minion here. Alright. I got my ultimate pretty soon here, actually, so I should be able to push him back if he tries to kill me again. He's out of mana now, so I don't really know what the hell is going on. We see Riven's approaching from the top, from the, ri the uh, river here, though. I've got my ult available, so we can actually just completely destroy her. Just kill the bitch. Like, she's going to try and kill me, but she's going to fail. Malphite's on the way, but he is not strong enough with no mana to take us out. I don't have any mana though myself, so I can't really do much to help. But those, yeah, the TF's coming in, but TF can't really do much. He didn't even use his gold card, so he's gonna accomplish jack shit. Yeah, LB's got that one, I'm pretty sure. Yep. But I don't think we can take out Malphite, unfortunately. That's okay. Oops, wow. Like, barely didn't kill that minion. That sucks. But yeah, Malphite's got nothing, though. He's got nothing to threaten me with. Both TF and Riven are down, so we can just farm. Farm away. Getting the stacks on stacks. Hopefully catching up to where I want to be, because I think at 20 minutes here, I want to be at 300 stacks. We'll see if I can accomplish that. LB, picking up the kill on Malphite on the side. Nice job, team. Good stuff. Whoopsies. Almost missed that minion. But yeah, we're doing okay here. Can't complain too much. Don't have any mana for my Q right now, though. Can I get some mana? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I think pretty soon here I'll base, but I don't have any mana to really do a whole of a hell lot. I guess I'll just push in and go back for mana. 
I don't see what choice I really have, unfortunately. But Riven is doing her blue buff, so she's probably gonna come over here and take me out as soon as she can. Malphite's here, and I bet you his ultimate's available. So I'm gonna run like hell and get away from him, because he's crazy, as we know. We've got a pretty nice lead on him on farm, too. He's only at 70. We have an extra 30 on top of him, so that's pretty damn good. Looks like Balling's gonna pick up another kill on TF. TF having a really rough game this match, it looks like. We do not have the most farm in the game. Damn it, little Dracom. It's too good. It's too good, this game. We'll pick up our Frozen Heart here, finally. That's going to make Riven borderline useless against me. Not to mention, it's also going to increase our CDR even further. Capping out that CDR and being tanky, I think, are the two most important things with Nasus. From there, once you have both those things accomplished, that's when you get the Triforce and you do tons of damage, as Freak would say, of course. So that's pretty much the game plan here. So we'll head up to the top lane and get the stacks if we can. Looks like Alistair wants to set up a kill onto Malphite. With his ult available, I don't think we can. See, Malph has ult. Let's let them know. So yeah, they mean they'll knock him towards me, but... Malphite's probably gonna ult you away. Yep, there's the ult. Let's do as much damage to this guy as we can, but... What the heck? Was I, like, lagging there? Because I kept, like, walking around in circles. Alright, well, there we go. Rengar's gonna pick up that one. I probably could've just stood there and waited for him to get low enough to use the Q to last hit, but I don't care about getting the kills that much. For me, it's more about just winning the match and doing what's right. And maximum damage output total instead of... You know, last hitting and shit. But uh, our Q is on such a low cooldown now. 2.4 seconds with cap CDR. That's that's the dream, baby. So many stacks. So yeah, we got another few minutes here before we hit the oopsies, the next benchmark where I think at 20 minutes I want to have 300 stacks at the bare minimum. And I think I can easily accomplish that. Just auto then Q, these ones it seems. And I'm also going to get this turret here pretty soon as well. Oopsies. See our damage to our turret is not too bad. 228, so I'll let it get below that. Then I'll last hit the turret as well. Boom. There we go. Turrets can also stack your Q. Keep that in mind when you're playing Nasus, I guess. Getting some more last hits. And Malphite's here, but he can't really fight me. He thinks he can, but he can't. But if he has friends, he can. Minions. We have friends coming, so I'm not too scared of just farming a little bit more while I know I might be in danger. No one's there, though. So what's the plan here, team? What's the plan? Speaking of plans, actually, I should get a pink ward down to help control the vision in this area. Yeah, let's just let him... F actually, I don't know. We could probably take him out. We have Alistair here. Going ham. Rangar's going with his ult. He's got the Yumu's ghost plate and everything. I think I'll wait for the last one on this one. Oh, he's barely gonna get a... W nope, never mind. Rangar's red is enough. I guess from that point of view, maybe it is a good idea I held onto my Q. But who knows? Who knows in the end? Stacks on stacks on stacks. Alright. And yeah, it looks like this point, we pretty much have control over everything except for a bit of the bot lane. Looks like Vayne's pretty strong. But aside from that, we have control over literally everything. Mid lane, top lane. Our team's just doing a great job rotating between those objectives and sent up kills and objective leads and stuff like that. So it's looking pretty good for us. And yeah, TF's here now. I'm gonna get this pink ward down over here, I think, to help control the Baron area. Looks like they're gonna pick up a kill on Riven, or not Riven, on Zillion, but looks like Riven's gonna join the pile of the dead, being Zillion as well. And the turret's gonna join that pile too. Alright. Pink ward's down, nice. Vayne's on the way, actually, and I don't have much mana left, so I can do a few combos, but if she shows up, we probably can't do a whole lot unless I get the Wither down. Or the Chain Land? I mean, I'm pretty quick, but not that quick. Yeah, Vayne's definitely faster than me. Can I whack her butt? Can I whack her butt? Yeah, whack the butt. Alright, I'm satisfied. Alistair's unfortunately in a bit of a pickle here, though. Yeah, this is not looking too good. Take that, though, Malphite. Yeah, I don't know if we should fight here. I think we should leave. But I think Malphite's gonna ulti us if we get too close. That's really what I'm thinking is gonna happen here. But luckily, it looks like we did manage to kite back and actually escape, so... That's pretty sweet. Nice job. But I'm not going to hit that 300 per 20 minutes stacks. Damn it. That's okay. We almost have our Spirit Visage though, which will help a ton. Upgrade Trinket as well. More wards. More vision. More control. I could be mid here, but I think the turret's going to be dead by the time I do. So I'm not going to waste my teleport on that. Because of course, if the, tel if the uh, turret does die before you TP there, you will actually get your TP cancelled. Whereas if you TP to a minion or a ward, that minion or ward becomes immune. So, it's a little bit different. Get a stack there, though. 
And it looks like Vayne's just trying to kill Malphite bottom, so that's, or not Malphite, uh, Sivir, so that's no good. But I'll go ahead and get these little ones for some more stacks. And actually looks like my team's in a fight here. Yep, they can get the Malphite. I had no idea that was going on. Nice job to them. And also, if this get a little bit lower, boom, all right. Yeah, the big monsters in the camps actually give you double the stacks, I'm pretty sure. If not, uh, just a bit more. I'm not exactly sure the exact ratio, but I'll take his big one. Just because it's really, really advantageous for me to take that. And let's see. Dragon's up in a bit over a bit over two minutes here, actually. Or a bit under two minutes, sorry. But I'm going to go back top lane, actually. There's a lot of farm to get up there. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly that. I have my teleport available if needed. And they actually took out my pink ward. Bastards. I just noticed that. That's not allowed. Oh, well. A lot of means up here, so I'll have a good old time with that. Uh, of course, I do want to apologize a little bit for this game being a little bit lackluster, but you know what? This is Nasus for you. This is Nasus in a nutshell. If you get any action in the early game, you should be damn well surprised. And I did get some, so I am very surprised by that. But normally, you just want to sip top lane and farm, honestly. And we're getting to do that now, which is nice. Hola. Just want XP. Fair enough, fair enough. Getting lots of stacks. Got it all nice and lined up for me. I might actually get ahead here because before I said I wanted 300 at 20 minutes, which I didn't accomplish, but I've got 300 now at 21 and a half minutes, so I'm not that far gone. And I'm thinking if I continue to have a fat wave like this all the time with this low CDR and plenty of mana from that frozen heart, I'm thinking it's pretty likely I'll hit my next benchmark on time. Which would, of course, be very, very nice. Can we kill this guy? I don't know if we can. Yeah, he's going to ult away. That's fine. Got his ult for free. More or less for free. Not entirely, but... Still profitable. But uh, I'm trying to think here what stacks I should be aiming for next. 25 minutes. I guess I could aim for 400. Eh, that's pretty doable. Maybe I should aim for 500. Who knows? Let's get this though. Alright. Malphite is very scared of my teammates showing up apparently. Can't blame him. My team has helped me quite a lot this game. I can give him that for sure. Yeah, it's looking like the group for Dragon. I do have Teleport, but Malphite... Actually, never mind, doesn't have it all, so I guess he can't cancel my TP. So that's pretty good. We have Rengar coming in here, so let's go ahead and pop a few things to keep him locked up. And Rengar should be able to do the damage to take this guy out. Unless... I'll take him out. I don't mind flashing to make sure he goes down. Because he's a rock and he takes a lot to fall down, apparently. They're gonna get the Dragon for that, though. But, with that said, I can TP in if need be. Doesn't look like we want to, though. Or do we? Nah, I think we should just take this turret. So I'll go ahead and last hit with my Q. Boom. Alright. Let's see. Zillion's just being crazy. If their team dives, then I can TP in. But I don't think they're going to dive, necessarily. Yeah, they're not that silly. So I'll get that Spirit Visage finished up. Let's also get ourselves the Mercury Treads for that CC reduction. And... I think I'll TP in now. Because look at that fight is commencing. I want to make sure I'm there for it. Let's go ahead and use the Wither onto Riven, making sure that she's... As least of a threat as possible. Popping her alt. There's some damage. Come here. Come here, Zillion. Or not Zillion. Freaking TF. Get out of here. Alright. Zillion, you're up. You can't run from me, son. And but Riven. Or not Riven. Vayne might try to. I probably should have withered Vayne instead of Zillion. But that's okay. Because I'm going to kill her anyways. <laughs> Get whacked. Oh, man, you gotta love Nasus, man. So there was, what, like like three or four kills there? No, that's just three, because, yeah, we had the one on Malphite earlier on. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and get these minions here. It looks like Rangar managed to pick up the Zillion. Yeah, I definitely made a misplay there. I should have just killed Zillion and then Withered Vayne and let her run away for a little while and then come back and killed her, but, you know, it's whatever. It's fine. So we have 400 stacks now at, like, 24 minutes. Not too bad. Can't complain about that. We're doing pretty well now. We've caught up to where I wanted to be. And so if I think for... 30 minutes, I'm going to aim for 500. Nah, actually, you know, I can do it a lot faster than that. I can aim for like 600 in that time period. Let's just kill TF. <laughs> Never mind, Riven's here. I am I am way over my head. Yeah, I'm a dummy. <laughs> I'm a dummy. <laughs> I got super, super ham thinking that Riven wasn't going to be there for some completely random reason. I don't even think I considered it, to be brutally honest with you. So, definitely way too ham on my part. That's okay, though. We'll pick up the Sheen to increase our damage on our Q. And I'll also work towards that Phage next. Yeah, but that was definitely my fault. I completely disregarded the fact that their team was all respawning. I was just like, oh, hey, TF's here defending on his own. Let's just kill him. Which Rengar did manage to follow through and do. So good on him. 
but we, honestly, that was my bad. I shouldn't have done that at all, but that's okay. All good. So yeah, I think we can get another 100 stacks in 5 minutes easily. We could probably do another 100 stacks. Or not 100 stacks, 150 stacks, maybe even 200 stacks in 5 minutes because our CDR is just so low. And there's going to be plenty, plenty of minions for us to get. Hopefully these guys can take out the Zillion because they put so many resources into it, it looks like. Doesn't look it's going to quite happen though, but that's okay. TP, uh, 2 minutes. I'm going to put a Squiggly just so they know it's about 2 minutes. Because it's not quite, but it's pretty damn close. I'll put the Squiggly in there. Squiggly always means, like, you know, more or less. Generally speaking, anyways. Yeah, our farm's pretty good. We actually have the most in the game. It's not the best it's not the best it could be. It could be so much better, but it's still not something I'm gonna complain about. You see that Sheen proc doing a lot of damage to these minions. Let's go ahead and finish up the siege. And just freeze here. If my team all dies, then you know honestly it's their fault, because I told them I wasn't gonna be there, and they shouldn't expect me to be there because I'm Nasus. But hey, if they get plenty of kills and do well, then you know props. But I don't think that's gonna happen though, because they are fighting a 5v4. And like I said, they shouldn't expect me to be there when I specifically said I wasn't going to be there by saying that I got TP in two minutes and all that. I guess I wasn't specific enough, but y you know what I mean. Nasus should be assuming, or you should assume Nasus is going to farm unless he specifically states he's not going to, or he's going to group or something like that, or if you see him doing something else, more or less. And apparently they're all coming for me, so I'm going to walk away. That's the idea I'm getting from the pings, but it doesn't look like that's the case. I'm going to walk mid though. Because it's looking like I'm going to be forced to help out. Which, I mean, I'm okay with. I wouldn't, it's not like the worst, but it could be better. And Vayne's going really ham here. She's going to get completely destroyed by that tower shot, I think. But actually, the Zillion Chrono, whatever it's called, coming in. Come here, Zillion, please. He's so fast. What the fuck? How is he so fast? Come here, TF. I got the Wither on him, so yeah, I'm stunned. But he's going to be slowed for a little while here. Can I get the Q off? Nah, he's not going to let me have it. Bastard. Malphite's going in, though. Let's pop the ult and all in this guy. And TF's actually in here. Oh, God. Riven's here, too. I don't like the looks of this anymore. Yeah, I don't know if I can get out. I might be able to, but I'm gonna tr I don't think I can. Yeah, he's gonna get the gold card on me, but he's all alone now. Uh-oh. But never mind. Riven's here now. I regret this decision. I might be able to live, though. Oh, can I dodge the cards? I did not. Damn it. I messed up. But at least LeBlanc's going to pick up the kill there, so redeeming my death. But I definitely messed up there. I made so many mistakes. From getting greedy, thinking TF's alone, to fighting when we didn't have enough members with us. Like, LB wasn't in that fight. Uh, so many mistakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not playing well today. But at least I'm able to recognize mis mistakes. That's the first step to fixing them, of course. Yeah, server's definitely having a rough time this game. They seem to be focusing her. And I mean, I'm not saying they should be focusing her, because she is 1-8, so she's not that big of a threat right now. But focusing the A to carry tends to be a strategy that works for a lot of teams, so I can sort of get where they're coming from. Next dragon, though, uh, I can TP for next drag. So I'm hoping my team can do is set up the vision control, and I can just split somewhere, whether it's top, bottom, I don't really care. And then I can TP in for the fight before it begins. Or even during it, when it's I could actually going off. But I want that level 16. Because that'll boost my power quite a lot. TF's just pushing top lane solo. And I think, wow, wait, wasn't he like 1 in 5 at one point? Damn, he's come back in the game quite a lot. I guess I should expect that though, because TF does scale really well into the mid game and late game. So I'll get the little one here. And just unload on the big one. How much damage does this do? 1,000. Jesus. Alright, let's just finish it off. I guess it did more because the armor was reduced from my Spirit Fire, which is why you max it second, by the way. You know, AoE, damage. And it reduces their armor. It's just it's the whole package, really. Let's go and get the level 16, though. Yeah, TP is up, so I'm all set. Hopefully my team can set that vision control on Dragon, like I said. But I don't think they're going to. But yeah, it's almost 30 minutes here, and I don't, don't even have 500 stacks yet. So I really fell behind the benchmark I set for myself earlier in this match. But that's okay, because I'm going to make it at least, and maybe a little bit more. Don't think a lot more, though, but maybe some more. It looks like they did finish the Dragon off. Uh, if my team can get a good engage off, I can join, but... It doesn't look like it's going to happen in a good way, but I'm going to TP here instead. And Vayne's on the side. I'm actually going to wither her. And that should be the kill. Yep, the chain coming in. That's good. I'm on the way. Let's pop the ult here. And get my E, the spear fire, into... I guess onto Malphite, because I can't really get to anyone else right now. And actually, I'm going to go into Riven now, because I can reach her. No, I can't reach her, so I'm going to go for Malphite instead. Can I get to the last hit onto this guy? I can... Well, not quite the last hit, but... Got some damage onto him, so that's good. Had to use my flash to get there though, but that's okay. Looks like we did manage to clean up the fight though, only TF survives. 
And they did get the dragon, yes, that's three dragons for them, so that's kind of as bad for us. But not really, because it's not five. As long as it's not five, it's normally fine. So we should be fine. And actually, the TF gonna get caught out here by the Alistair. And I'm just gonna hold on my Q and be ready to whack him in the face as soon as it comes out. There we go, there's the kill for me. I don't mind tanking turrets all game long. Now, Vayne is up, but I have Wither still, and Wither is gonna completely fuck her if she comes in. So I'll just finish up the turret here. 450 when I use my Q. Damn that damage. Alright, let's leave. Very nice. Let's go back here. We can finish up Triforce now, which is a huge power spike for us. I had a feeling Vayne was coming for me. Wait, she has a Wit's End. That's really strange. Oh well. Whatever makes her happy, I guess. There we go. Triforce, though. Let's walk towards the Dead Man's Plate, because I would like the Dead Man's Plate to help you with that mobility disparity that Nasus does sort of have. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not the quickest champion, right? He doesn't have any mobility spells. He just has the Wither to destroy your opponent's attack speed slash uh, move speed. So, it's pretty good when you're trying to take someone out, but trying to chase down or run away from people doesn't help much. So, having that Dead Man's Plate will definitely help out. And this Triforce also gives us that extra attack speed, which you can see is very, very nice. Helps you Q faster. There's plenty of other benefits, of course, though. It's a great item. I love it. Especially the only damage item you ever need on Nasus. You could, of course, go with more. Like, uh, a Last Whisper is pretty good. Hydra can be good. But I just don't see the point in it when you have enough damage with Triforce and you go full tank and you're just super hard to kill. That's that's what I think is the best. And it looks like TF's actually bot lane. We could, in fact, take on Baron. But we need a bit more vision control, I think. But considering my team just walked through their blue jungle right here, I think we could actually just do it straight up, honestly. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. I mean, we do it pretty quick with a steam comp. Sivir does a lot of damage to Drag Baron. Our jungler's not here yet, but we can actually just fight now. Go to Zillion? What the hell is he doing? He's walking the wrong way. See you later, Zillion. Alright, he's gonna ult himself. I'll just wait for him to come out, I guess. No, no, I'll let them handle it. I need to help I need to help out Rengar. Can I get the wither onto Vayne? I can. Alright, let's get the damage off. Alright, see you later, Vayne. Who's next? Riven, I don't like the way you look. You look like a stupid enemy bitch. Get over here. <laughs> Get back here. Take the fist. Take the cane. I don't think I can kill her though. Yeah, she's just gonna go in the wall. That's fine. You can still see though the pressure we managed to put on them because our Baron is just way too... Our Baron control is just too good right now, honestly. But I'm coming over. We can probably take up Malphite here. Never mind, my team is gonna combo him. Let's go ahead and do Baron because I can tank easily. Yeah, 490 per hit with my Q when it's on 2.4 second cooldown. Can't complain too much about that. Alright, looks like there's a fat wave bot lane. Hopefully someone can take that out. But yeah, this is going to be the Baron for us though, easily. Alright, nice. And yeah, from here we can go back. We can almost finish our... Actually, I can probably sell Flask and finish something at least. I can get Sterix actually. That'd be a pretty cool item for Nasus, but I'm not going to get that just yet. I'm going to get the Dead Man's Plate first. I only need a bit more gold for Dead Man's, but that's going to be awesome for us. So we're sitting at 8, 3, and 11. Not too bad of a scoreline, of course. Could be a lot better. I've made several mistakes this game. But I've also made some plays that, while simple, because Nasus is a simple champion, did prove to be effective. And that's really what matters. And hopefully I don't miss all the little ones. Yes, I will. Damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. My E does so much damage, but it's alright. Let's, let's get this ward down. I'll just go back top lane and stack. 3 seconds TP. So I just want to split from my team for a while and get stacks and utilize the Baron buff because the Baron buff will, of course, stack our minions up. Wow, I almost didn't kill that. Actually, I almost did kill it. But uh, but yeah, splitting up the minions will mean more pressure on the map overall because having five people in the same lane is not near as much pressure as having like like three people in separate lanes, for example. So it looks like my team actually got a catch here on somebody. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to be their fight for win. Yeah, their team is just getting completely caught out and throwing. And so yeah, if I'm needed, I can TP, but for the time being though, stacks on stacks on stacks. I want to have 600 by 35 minutes, I think I could do that easily, but we'll see if I'm right. Two kills so far, so my team shouldn't need my help, but if they do, I can show up in five seconds here. And one more, there we go. And let's see if we get the siege here, we should be able to. Yeah. Uh, one cool fact actually about Nasus, a lot of people don't know, is lore-wise, Nasus is actually the most powerful champion in the game. You know, again, lore-wise. Technically speaking, like, how he actually is in the game and how he plays and all that. Not, he's, he's okay. He's not great. He's okay. He can be pretty damn strong, but he also can be pretty damn weak if he doesn't get stacks. 
But uh, as far as lore goes, apparently he's like this god, so he's like really, really strong. <laughs> Looks like LB's gonna get the turret though and a TF kill, so nice job to him. Holy crap, he's 18 and freaking 3. That is a crazy score line. So I'll get some more minions here. Stacks. Ribbon take one to the face. Looks like she did get that Sterics gauge. So she has a bit of a shield coming in if she takes too much damage. If these are trying to 2v1 me, I'm just gonna alt and survive. But they have Vayne coming in as well. I'm just gonna flash so I can avoid Vayne. If Malphite ults me, I'll be very surprised. But their team is chasing me down. Alright, Withering Vayne hopefully will reduce some of her attack speed. Hopefully my team can help me out, but I think I'm actually dead on this one. Because they went for Riven, which is fine. But it's like, I'm still dying. <laughs> and Riven's not here, but hopefully they can clean up the fight. Rengar focusing the Malphite. I'm surprised that's going to work out. He should have been focusing Vayne, but that's okay. If he gets the brush, he can jump. Nah, not soon enough. That's okay. Boa's going to miss. But can these guys chase out the Vayne? The <laughs> Condemn coming out. They gotta kill the Vayne. Where is she going? Oh, yeah, he got her. Barely. That was so close. We have the Dead Man's Plate now, which would have been huge in that, because I could have just not autoed and never gone like, hard CC'd and just avoid everything, but unfortunately, it didn't manage to do that. That's okay, though. For our next item... I'm thinking Sterix Gage is honestly very, very, very good on Nasus, but I don't think it's what I want. I'm thinking Randrins makes more sense, but I'm not totally sure. But, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Let's give it a shot. It looks like TF's going for a play here onto Alistair. I think he's gonna get that. Yeah, that kinda sucks. But, uh, I have my teleport available now, and so if I am able to go and farm some more and split for my team, I can then show up to the next fight. Because the problem with that fight was they all came after me, and instead of my team getting an objective, which was possibly something they could have done, they came trying to save me, but the way they saved me was by... <laughs> Unfortunately, I ran away from them, so it was kind of my fault as well, but I couldn't have actually ran towards them if I wanted to, I think. But yeah, they helped me out, but they killed the target that wasn't a threat to me at that very moment, so it's a little bit tricky. But yeah, they are actually in the area. I had a feeling they were, because Malphite was just walking towards me super confident, like... But actually, LB's going to go for the kill here on TF, I'm pretty sure, because she's TPing to top lane there, as you can see. So I think she's looking for TF. Let's get some wards down though. Control the area. But where'd TF go? Let's see if we can get the Scout Crab though. Might take a little while because these things are a little bit tankier than most jungle camps or things like that. But still. There we go. Some nice stacks. Alright. Hopefully I get stacks here and LB won't take all the farm. Just going to take some. That's okay. Just let me have the rest. That's good. 1400 damn if you had a crit with your Q it does help the damage quite a lot but not as much as a lot of people think like some people say that crit Nasus is the best you can see without crits I'm still doing 1200 and when I hit a crit it was like I don't know 1500 it's like it's a bit of a boost but not really looks like my team is fighting though Alistair probably going down on this one I'm on the I'm on the backside though Malphite's gonna get completely destroyed see you later Malphite what can we do to these three though Rangar's going in can he get onto the zillion looks like he can but Vayne doing some damage to him if I get the Wither off of Vando, she's pretty screwed unless she QSSs it, which she doesn't even have. So yeah, she's going to be in a really rough spot. Get over here, Vayne. Can I get this onto her? I can. Alright, do some damage. I was waiting for their, her uh, Zillion all to time out. There we go, she's down. Zillion, you're next. Get over here. God, he's fast. See you later. Double kill. <laughs> We're just so incredibly tanky. You do so much damage to this Triforce. And all these stacks. Look at all these stacks. They're all around me. I love them. These aren't minions. What are you talking about? They're stacks. That's all they are. Alright, and there's the Surrender Belt coming out. So hopefully you guys like this. Wasn't exactly the greatest game, but it still displays a little bit of Nasus for you. You can see a pretty good idea of, uh, I guess, you know, things to do, things not to do. Because I did a lot of things this game you shouldn't do. So hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to drop that rating. It really helps out a ton. And of course, subscribe for more videos. Uh, hopefully better than this one, but still good. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.